Welcome. Um, I'm going to title this video, Debate with Don K. Preston Postponed Due to Hidden Heresy and Spits on the Blood of Christ. Now, I sent this to Don today. Let me see here. We're going to have to push the debate back, Don, since we are dealing with eschatology and soteriology, and I'm just finding out more and more about your views. I'm not going to have uh, to, I'm going to have to do some digging on your blasphemous views of the atonement and justification. I am shocked. You will do whatever it takes to be quote unquote, consistent within your system. So it will have to be pushed back as I am going, go, as I'm not going in blind. Today was a huge revelation. And today was a huge revelation. Um, as uh, uh, speaking with Ed Stevens, Sam Frost, um, on a thread, a thread I had. And um, here's something from Ed. I think this was from his uh, first negative in his written debate with uh, Don. Uh, here's what Ed Stevens said, posted to me. Ed Stevens, Joel Sexton. Here's the quote of, I uh, can't even pronounce that guy's name at the moment, uh, Bat Bates, Bateston and Preston again. Read it very carefully and slowly and analytically. Bateston said, quote, how many ounces of Jesus' blood did it take to purchase the church? Did he get any enzymes and, and change back? Were you washed in the physical blood of Jesus? And if so, where might I find the swimming pool at? One of Don's colleagues. And if so, where might I find the swimming pool at? Preston came to the, to the defense of Basin by saying, quote, the blood being shed for the remission of sin was not literal blood. In, res in response to Scott Russell, Preston said, quote, you seem to be taking the position that Jesus' literal liquid blood of red and white corpses is what saves us and not what the blood represents. Ask Scott Russell and what Basin and Preston were saying here. Sam Frost and Rich Eckerton and Rod Stokes, David Gibson and me were all there in the discussion with Basin and Preston when they said this. More than three eyewitnesses. Every fact is determined. Preston is just trying to wiggle out of a jam here. Do not be fooled by this bait and switch and red heron tactics. He clearly teaches that the physical death of Jesus on the cross was not, I repeat, was not his substitutionary death for our atonement and forgiveness. He instead teaches that the substitution, substitutionary death of our, for our atonement and forgiveness was Jesus' spiritual death, alienation death. And that stems from his belief in Adam. Adam died spiritually in the garden. He didn't die physically as well. In resurrection, the corporate body view of the resurrection of Don Preston, it's a spiritual resurrection. It's not a physical thing. And so he's being consistent here. He's being consistent. Um, and this is just amazing. And uh, I posted this the other day. Ed Stevens' first negative was well worth the wait. He takes Don K. Preston behind the woodshed, and rightly so. Don Soriology is not even close to being Christian. The atonement lasted 40 years, or 40 days. Jesus did not shed literal blood. Justification is a corporate and not individual act. He admitted that to me in, um, in discussion. But this is heresy. I like Don, but this is heresy galore, not Christianity by a long shot. This, of course, means what I've stated before. Don is not a Christian. The same goes for the other uh, covenant eschatology, corporate body view flunkies, making it up as they go. Makes me want to vomit, actually. Um, and so, there you have it. 
when it comes to the atonement of Christ, Don K. Preston spits at the blood of Jesus Christ. Don K. Preston is more of a heretic now than I've, I've ever thought he could possibly be. And this is why the debate's going to be postponed, you see. And this is why Ed Stevens, who P he has a PhD, who he's a full preterist, but of the other variety, way different than the corporate body covenant eschatology view. The individual body view is Ed Stevens' view, individual body. And they're doing a written debate, him and Don. The, the written debate was supposed to start in October. Not until now, March, did Ed get, get his first paper out. And why? Because he had to search all through Facebook to find these little, um, these little snippets of what Don will not put in his books or morning musings, uh, that the blood was spiritual. And uh, do we really need the blood of Christ? Like he's spitting on the blood of Christ spitting on it makes me sick yeah the position Jesus literal liquid blood of red and white corpses is what saves us and not what the blood represents unbelievable unbelievable so I knew his atonement was messed up his view of the atonement lasts in 40 years. Justification is messed up because in our, we're to ask each other 10 questions, uh, back and forth, 10 questions before the debate. Uh, uh, my second question to Don was his view of justification. I said, I knew in my head, I got to ask Don, does he believe justification is individual or corporate? Because it's, everything's corporate for Don. He answered that it's corporate and justification ends in AD 70. In other words, it has no impact on the individual, the doctrine of justification. It is just some sort of thing that uh, transpires in AD 70. You see? And so, it's amazing. It's amazing. The, the, these guys don't have the gospel at all. They don't have the gospel at all. They have a false gospel. And so this is why I have to take the time postpone this as Ed did and Ed recommended it and I said Ed I, I probably have to do what you did um, I'm just being blown away here today he goes Joel yeah you don't want to go in there half cocked yeah I'm not going on, going in there blind I want to know Don's full view of the atonement because he's going to bring it up in the debate I want to know his full view on the atonement so I'm not going to get it in his works that I have behind me here I'll get a bit of it, but he's not going to come out with statements like that in his books, or he won't sell books. He'll do it in face, on Facebook, but he won't do it openly. And so I'm going to have to search around Facebook, uh, dig around to get his proper view of this, that, and the other, his whole soriology. Um, so that's why the debate is um, uh, postponed. He likes to hide really what he believes. Don's great at that, being evasive and obfuscates uh, things um, uh, and hiding his really real meaning, a real belief until Ed and these guys pull out quotes from, uh, you know, months back or whatever and he gets caught. So um, there's no reason for me to go on in April 11th when I have some digging to do. I, I was honest with Don, here, go here, here, and here. Because he asked me, but where can I get your material for the debate. Check this playlist out on justification and imputation. Check this playlist out, 23 videos on uh, soriological implications of full preterism that I did. Check these articles out that I've written on justification and the judgment. There you go, I'm honest. Don's not forthright. Um, he spits at the blood of Christ because he's a heretic because he's a heretic and he's not a Christian he spits and it pisses me off I mean this is fucking bullshit it's fucking bullshit is what it is no other way to put it it's fucking bullshit and if I had someone say that in my presence they'd be out the door with probably a concussion 
Yeah. Bullshit. Donnie boy. It's postponed. So get something else for April 11th. We got to dig into what you actually believe. I got to dig into your actual heresies throughout Facebook. I mean, what a, oh, what a job that's going to be. Going through every thread and every group. Anyway, that's that, guys. That is that. But I am doing a live debate. It'll probably be early this week with Joe Simpson on the judgment uh, of Romans 1 through 3, universal or local. So I'll be doing a debate with, with him on that. Um, and in the meantime, until I can figure out whatever the heck Don believes, um, I'll be taking challenges on the debate that I was supposed to do with Don um, on if the judgments in the past, there could be no justification, i.e. salvation for sinners today. I, I will challenge any full preterist to do that debate um, uh, while I'm waiting on... Uh, waiting on Don. So I am open to do this debate with other people while we figure out what Don actually 